Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to determine if a set is a spanning set of a vector space. Now, for simplicity purposes, we're going to call this vector space V. Now, let's talk about how a set would work. If you have a set y1, y2, y3, all the way down to yn, for example, there's a principle that says this set of y's is known to be a spanning set if every vector in V can be written as a linear combination of the y's. Now this is actually an if and only if principle, which means that it has to work both ways. So for example, if you have, let's just say, a vector v1, a vector v2, vector v3, all the way down to, let's just say, vector vn. That means if v1 can be written as a linear combination of the y's, v2 can be written as a linear combination of the y's, all the way through the vn vector, and that can be written as a linear combination of the y's, then the y's will be a spanning set. Now, similarly, the if and only if principle says, if the y's are a spanning set, then every vector in v is written as a linear combination of the y's. So it does work both ways. So going at it once more, if every vector in V can be written as a linear combination of the y's, then the y's are a spanning set, and vice versa. That's what an if and only if uh, definition is all about. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to determine if a set is a spanning set of a vector space.